Hello friends, welcome to Spectra Tech. In this video, I will show you how to configure our UVNT Light Beam Amp 5 as an AP that is a sus point and AP repeater. As we know friends, both these functions are not available in the current firmware, which is the default firmware. So we have to update our firmware of UVNT Light Beam Amp 5. In this video, I will show you how to update the firmware of UVNT Light Beam Amp 5 also. First we have to go to a control panel to open the UVNT Lightbeam M5 page. You have to put IP address in the IPv4 then click on network and sharing center. On the top left side you find a option that is change adapter settings click on it. Make sure that your ethernet port is working and is enabled. Go right click on it and go to the properties. On the bottom you find a option that is internet protocol version 4 that is IPv4 double tap on it. You have to change these settings from obtain IP automatically to use the following IP click on use the following IP then put some IP address that is 192.168.1. Anything not 20 because we know that 192.168.1.20 is default IP address of UPNT products. We have to put like 21 or 19 or anything. Then OK, OK, click on OK. Close all the windows, go back to our home page. Open your internet browser. Open the site 192.168.1.20. Username is UPNT and password is UPNT. This is, this is the default username and password. Country, my country is India. You can select your country. I agree all the terms and conditions, then login. It may take some time depending on your PC settings. UBNT UBNT login yeah our page is open it's like beam m5 that is connected with our land wire device model is light beam m5 device name is light beam m5 network mode default network mode is bridge wireless mode is station and SSID is default UBNT click on the wireless settings and the wireless mode click on it as you see friends, there is only one option of wireless mode that is station. We don't have an AP access point mode and AP repeater. To enable these modes, we have to update our software, our firmware, click on system. You can see friends, firmware version is 5.6.2, XW 5.6.2, we have to update it. Guys, you can open this site uh, Mediafire. I will give this link in the description. You can copy and open this. As you know, friends, xw.v.6.0. This is 5.6 and this is 6.0 version. It's just 6.91 MB. You can download it. It's very small and quickly downloaded. Yep, it's downloaded. Open the folder, here it is. Now we have to update our firmware. Close all the windows, only Lightbeam M5. To update firmware, click on upload firmware, choose file. This file is downloaded in my downloads folder. And here it is. Open this. 
click on upload it takes several minutes then update now it takes several minutes yeah it's don't power off and on to your light beam m5 because it can lose the firmware you have to take a power backup with you Now friends our device is updated I think click on advanced settings and proceed it's 100% secure UBNT our default username and password is UBNT login you can see friends a firmware is updated it's now 6.0 it's fully updated you can change your device name from here you can do it and uh, you want, if you want to restart your device you can simply click on the reboot option if you want to backup the configuration of device you can download it upload configuration choose file and reset default to the reset button now friends go back to the main page and wireless wireless mode is now station access point and ap repeater yeah it's fully updated you can choose your access point ssid ubnt you can put anything i uh, generally ubnt ap light beam m5 is my ssid it's generally the name of device you can choose your security from here WPA2 AES and then put it but for now I skip this step all the settings be same or default and then click on change you have to change your password current password is UBNT and you have to put the new password I will change it settings are saved then click on apply to check that uh, wireless mode is access point or not you have to click on main page it may take some time because the following steps happen reload our page yeah it's open now and you can see friends wireless mode is now assess point and SSID is UBNT with AP Lightbeam M5 which we have put version is 6.0 now our Lightbeam M5 works as an assess point for our private usage, we have to change the IP address from default to any another like I will change it to 192.168.10.10 you can put anything now click on change then click on apply this will take time and we have to minimize this Cancel out, go back to the home screen, then control panel. We have to put IP as we put earlier. Now the IP is 10.10 .10 of UBNT Lightbeam. We have to put the IP which is sort of related to it in the IPv4 section. Double click on it, change the IP. 192.168.10. Anything but not 10 because it's a light beam M5 IP. You can put it 11 or 9 or anything. I put it 9. Okay, okay. 
now your browser reload the page after putting the new IP advanced settings proceed it's fully safe device name is UBNT and password which we changed to a new password put on this and then login yeah our IP is changed you can see from here it's now 192.168.10.10 in this way guys you can change your wireless mode from station to access point you can do it as ap repeater also after configuring our ubnt light beam m5 as an ap guys we have to disattach it from our laptop and connect our lan wire to a switch Guys, this is my switch. This is the big switch, the Cisco switch, and this is small Dalek switch. I have to put our this LAN wire. Guys, for distance internet access, I attach the UBND Lightbeam M5 LAN wire to our switch. I do it in this way guys the internet access from this switch goes to our light beam m5 and this works as ap that is access point and connected to other uvnt products it access all the internet to different points as for now thank you guys for watching my videos give it thumbs up if you like my video if you don't like my video give me a thumbs down if you not subscribed yet 